about 8 or 8 30 on Sunday night here in Danville, Virginia. Me and Womack Bug Vans are about to head to Guntersville, Alabama after a pretty cool 1963 Volkswagen. I'm not even going to say what kind of model it is, but if we're driving eight and a half hours all night long, I hope it's a fairly cool one. Um, thanks to my good buddy Connor who found it on an ad somewhere this evening and I called and luckily I guess I was the first one to call. So um, trying to get the trailer. Make, it's, it's 30 degrees up here now. The tire, make sure my tire pressure is all right. She's a little low, but um, we plan to drive all night because we got to be there by noon or so tomorrow to be able to pick it up. Um, it's a sight unseen by. I hope it's not a wasted trip because I'm, Lord knows I've done it before. But we'll see you sometime tomorrow. We made it driving through the night to somewhere. I think we're in Alabama now. We'll go here in the Cracker Barrel and get us something to eat and make it the last hour or so and see if we're going to buy this thing and tote it home. It was a long night, but I'm glad we're on the other side of Atlanta because that is not a fun place to drive through during daylight hours at all. Hey guys, we're almost back home. It's been about 24 hours on the road with little to no sleep since we left last night all the way from Danville, Virginia to Guntersville, Alabama. It's about a 16 hour round trip uh, with gas stops and food stops and all that. It, it turns into 24 hours real quick. I just dropped off on Max Bug Bands. That was a, a real treat to have someone share their driving on a trip like this. 26 hours ago at this time, I didn't even know anything about this car, so we'll be home in about 10 or 15 minutes, and I'll, uh, I haven't even been inside the single cab. Mike loaded it while I was paying the man today, so I'm going to take it for a spin around my shop, and maybe we'll do a last little walk around of it and tell you some more about it, and um, stay tuned. There's a plot twist on this 62, 63 thing okay? I can't even I can't remember, remember now. Remember. I don't even remember now. That doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. 62 or 63. My buddy Connor originally found this thing on a Facebook post, and um, he didn't think he was going to be interested in buying it, so I, me and my buddy Womack Bug Vans hauled tail to Alabama to get this thing. Um, and once we got it back home, it actually turned out to be a little more solid and a little better than we really expected it to be. And, Single cab is probably his dream bus to have. His dad's had him, and he's been around plenty of them through his life, and he's never had one. So he came up the weekend that we got it, and we started stripping on just a small part of it on the back tailgate, and it turned out the yellow paint where it had been a logo truck for a dealership back in the 70s, the paint came out, and um, he decided he couldn't live without it, so it ended up being his anyways. But he's not totally done with it yet, but I'm impressed so far. All because it was the previous owner had just sprayed the whole thing with black rattle can spray paint. But it's it's all come off without too much trouble. 
Yeah, so uh, I started stripping it, and it, it came out great. I mean, Womack and I just kind of spent some time doing it. And you can see right here, so it's the Port City foreign car single cab. Uh, you can slightly see the outline of Port City foreign car. Um, and the back of the logos actually came out really well. There's logos on the back are perfect. Still some paint on there. <clears throat> I need to do some sanding. Somebody mixed fiberglass on these corners for whatever reason, but the corners still seem straight, solid enough, so it's going to take a little bit more effort there. Um, Butch D did the hand-painted sign lettering right there. The shop, they worked on Dotson's MGs and Volkswagen. Yep. It was actually, it was in a commercial in the 80s also with the, the owner at the time. It was like a, a news channel anchor or somebody yep. like it that. It was a, a news reporter who... I guess had Port City sponsor this truck, so they did, before it was their uh, runaround truck, I guess they did all the service work on it for the news reporter, and they used it in uh, WALA, uh, an Alabama news station. Um, you can roll to that clip, I'll send that to you. <laughs> yeah. Ended up finding, uh, getting a hold of the previous owner, previous owner's daughter. It was the amount of connections and history he's found on it is pretty incredible. From something that's been out of sight for 40 years, hidden under all the black spray paint. Yeah, the, the plans are pretty much just roll it stock height with big tires, stock bus wheels, thanks to Grayson, and sled for selling the bus wheels. Cruise it, put a canvas on it, and maybe a hearse bumper on the front. Who knows? I'll have uh, the lettering touched up on the side so it kind of keeps some of that history on it. But thanks for tuning in for another episode of Backroad Ramblers. We are on the hunt for the next one, so stay tuned. <laughs>